Hey RPGers and gamers alike, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer product review in which we take a look at Adventure Sense. These guys over here are literally what they sound like. They're scents for adventurers. Those of you who like games like Dungeons and Dragons or stuff like uh, any of those RPGs like Call of Cthulhu and Pathfinder and whatnot, these are for you. And why are they for you? Because basically what happens is you're in, let's say you're going through a dungeon, right, in an RPG. And if you have a good DM, maybe he's maybe using a fog machine or changing the way the lights look or doing something like that, there's something missing, right? You've got your, you got your uh, sense of sight and then you got your hearing. Well, what about sense of smell? Adventure Sense solves that for you. I'm going to try and steal one of these and hopefully they don't roll away. Uh, these little doohickeys here are basically like potpourri for RPGers. And why is that? Well, this one here is titled Wizard's Tower. You've got stuff like the Dragon's Lair. You've got stuff like the Werewolf's Den and so on and so forth. When you're traveling in that dungeon, you want the players to smell like they are in a dungeon. So what do you do? You open up one of these scents here, leave it sitting for about five minutes behind your DM screen, and suddenly the room is now filled with a putrid smelling odor based on the location they are at. Now, not all of these scents are bad smelling necessarily. Some of them are just more of an odor based on where you would likely be. Like a mummy's tomb is going to be kind of like uh, cleaned out and just sand and all that kind of stuff. Or you've got the forest, or the enchanted forest, which is going to smell like um, some kind of leafy substance. This has a ton of different scents that you can utilize for your DMing adventures. It's a great little additive product that you can go ahead and put together with your campaign. And something I still you're taking a look at but first we'll go down below i'll show you all the different scents i have what they look like and uh, give you a good idea of basically what they are going to come in and then after that we'll come back up and i'll tell you what i think of these things here and whether or not you as an rpg or even as a gamer uh might be interested in picking some of these adventure scents up all right down below we go so here are all the adventure scents that we went ahead and uh, got to take a look at they went ahead and sent us this product to give you a review as well as talk about it and these are all the different things i got i chose these four specifically because they sounded the coolest and then they sent us a bunch of little sample packs over here this one here is the enchanted forest this is the dragon's lair this one here is the i believe the werewolf den and then we have the mage tower they also went ahead and gave us stuff like uh what is this one here this one is uh, the fetid swamp that's that's wonderful this is the horse the mummy's tomb there's the horse stables there's the wedding uh there's a whole bunch of different choices here that you can take a look at uh uh, uh the fishing docks plenty of different smells and all you have to do in order to work with these things here is unscrew them they last a long long time and they have a very strong strong scent in which this is a perfect amount for you to use for your gaming room it'll fill up a room just one of these right now as I'm doing this, I can smell all four of these at once. They're they're strong. They have a good scent to them. You are able to definitely tell uh, how they what they smell like, and uh, they they give you a lot of presence in the room. But this is basically what they're gonna look like. The big ones here, are like this. These are I guess the sample packs in which you can literally open one of these guys up, and it still gives you a decent scent, and it'll work. But if you want a strong scent for the location you're at, these are probably what you're gonna want to pick up, based on the fact that they have a lot more uh, put in here than just these small packs here. Uh, they are beautiful and. They have different colors based on the locations and based on uh, these are the things you can tell this is the dragon's lair and this is the forest and the, the werewolf and the, the, the mages and we'll come up and I will talk about each one of these that I got a chance to smell what I think about the product as a whole whether you should pick it up and all that good stuff but I just want to show you the table presence in general you're just going to have one of these guys here you're going to open it up behind a screen or underneath the table or something and it'll come wafting around the room to give people a smell or a presence of the location they're visiting in their RPG or even board game adventure. Okay, so the way we're doing this review here, as well as talking about it, I'm going to go ahead and take each one of these, give them a good whiff so you'll see my reaction with them, as well as uh, talk about them, because I've smelled them before, I've used them in certain games, and I'll give you an idea of how they all function. But we'll go ahead and start with this one first here. This is the Wizard's Tower, and when you open it up, you're going to be smelling, uh, it smells kind of potion-y. It reminds me of like a mixture of different like chemicals and whatnot, which is kind of cool. And it has a really cool color as well, as far as what you would think uh, the magic surrounding a wizard's tower would be. This one here is the werewolf den. And this one smells like wet dog like that. That's the first thing I think of is wet dog. It's moist, it's damp, and it smells like an animal of some kind. Uh, it does a very good job. Both of these do a pretty good job of illustrating the smell of the locations. This is the enchanted forest. And this one, 
Reminds me of like a Febreze type smell. It has that like pine scent. It, it does a decent job of a foresty smell as well. These things are very strong. I would not suggest using more than one of them at a time at any point. And also maybe even have the room be a little open, um, a little airy so that it can kind of waft out of the room so it doesn't have a super intense feeling. But specifically on my wife when she smells these things here, uh, it's hard for her to smell them because they're, they, they don't smell like supernatural, obviously. They're kind of like conjoined smells. They're not like specifically like organic or whatever. And so because of that, it's just like really overpowering for her. But for us gamer guys over here, uh, we, we didn't mind it whatsoever. Um, my, my grandmother liked the smells as well. Uh, this Dragon's Den reminds me of like sulfur and oil and whatnot. It does a pretty good job of that. Uh, and then there's of course a bunch of other ones here. Uh, this one here is the Alchemist Lab, which smells similar to uh, the this one here. So it's a little different though. And then you've got this one here, which is the wedding one. This one's pretty good. It's pretty sugary, pretty sweet, almost a little florally as well. It does a good job of presenting what you would feel like when you're, I guess, at a wedding. Uh, this one here is the Fetid Swamp. This one is, from what I remember, dank, and it has a musk, musty smell. It tells you on here what, what's in there too, I believe. Uh, and it gives you a little flavor text. The perfect scent for trolls, ogres, or for disposing of bodies. Oof, yeah, this one smells like the un like underneath a chair or something. Like really, really dank and nasty. So, ah, oh, the fishing docks. This is my least favorite of the bunch, but it's also a favorite of mine because it's meant to smell bad, like nasty fish. It reminds me kind of like, um, I go to, me and my wife go to Korean market and we pick up a bunch of good stuff there and they have the fish and everything all lined out. This gives me that, reminds me of that smell when I walk over there to pick up my, my beef for beef jerky and whatnot. Oh, uh, that is putrid. It is, oof. I mean, which is, could be a good thing. If that's what you're going for in an RPG, you want them to smell like they're literally just washed ashore or maybe they're heading to the fishing docks or anything that involves boats or whatever. That would be a good choice. Uh, it is strong though, and it is pretty, pretty painfully putrid. So just be aware of that one. This one here is the mummy's tomb. I actually like this one. It has like this, it's a very soft scent. It's a strong one, but it's not like very over, overbearing, I guess, but it reminds me of like a dusty hallway kind of thing. And then there's the horse's stable, which is very similar to the werewolf's den, but it has like a, a hay kind of a smell. And then there is the dank dungeon, which is similar to the putrid swamp, I think. I gotta smell this one again. Oof, yeah, that one's tough. That one is tough. This one is like musty and it's got like, it, it smells like not really moldy, but like wet. I don't know how, how to explain it. Some of these guys have just some bizarre smells. So overall, what do I think about Adventure Sense? Well, these things are really cool. I mean, I don't RPG all that much, but now uh, I'm going to be doing the, introducing this kind of RPG one-shot campaign uh, live stream, which I'll do once in a while. And I'll definitely be using these for certain aspects of the scenario. I think it brings a lot of vibrant new aspects to a campaign. I'm the kind of, the kind of person who enjoys aesthetics and uh, lights I like the fog I like the the I like all the showing all the different things like if I had a DM screen up here it would have a uh, basically a TV monitor that shows you the map and the different illustrations of the monsters that you're fighting and all that good stuff I like that and this brings a lot of that to the table as well it's also nice because it's kind of one of those things where you can sneakily add from the back here and and put it under your screen you can open it up and then suddenly the players realize that they're now up coming from the mountain they're heading to the dragon's den because they can literally smell the sulfur and the fire and all that kind of stuff which is really really cool uh, as far as negatives go for this product it's strong and it definitely doesn't smell like very I, I guess it doesn't smell like organic in nature it smells kind of like you would smell a Febreze type of a thing um, but if you don't mind that, only other thing I'd suggest is make sure that it's, it's a little airy in the room so that it kind of like wafts out. In this bar here, if I, uh, Grant opened one of these before we started filming my reviews for today, and I was like, woof, I smell that. Like, I can't believe it's, is it not, is it, is it closed and it's just that strong? No, he was just messing with me. He left it under the table to see if I'd notice. And yeah, I noticed. So that's really good for what it does. I mean, 
I, would, would I buy this to like smell up my house like when guests are coming over? No, 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 no. It's not meant for that in my opinion. It's meant for specific RPG adventures based on the scenario, based on the location. And it does a really, really good job of that. There are a lot of fun. I've shown these to a lot of people that have come over just for fun to show you the different smells and whatnot and get their opinions. Uh, they've all had such varying opinions. Some of them said that it, they didn't smell like a specific thing. Some said that they did. Some people said that it reminded them of this or that. And uh, overall, it was a pretty positive response. So provided that your nostrils can handle these strong sense of adventure sense. Overall, a solid little product here. I would definitely suggest it. I looked on the website and they can be a little pricey, but they last a long, long time. I've had these uh, open for quite some time in different areas and locations. I've brought them out. Uh, I have no idea how long they last, but I'd imagine probably a, a good amount of time, in which case it might be worth the uh, cost of the product if that's uh, something you're interested in. Overall, solid review. Very happy with the product. And if you are into RPGing, any of that kind of stuff, definitely something I'd suggest you taking a look at. Go ahead and check down the link below for Adventure Sense. You can go ahead and pick it up if you want to. Uh, I really like this product. Solid.